anything thing I really appreciated though on that note, like how many people didn't spoil the game for me or anybody else on my server. And I kind of hope that helps people not, you know, lose the experience of the game. I think games are at their best when you get to experience in them without being, without the experience being ruined. But from what I've been gathered, the stony cliff titan likes to lurk somewhere in the rocky areas. I had a look around, I couldn't find any of it. Maybe it's high up in the cliffs or something. Nah, that's impossible. I don't think it's high to anywhere near so, uh, so tricky. So don't go falling off cliffs or anything. Yeah. I don't know. That's That was something I was talking about. And I just kind of felt like sharing it. Because it really do be like... For us, at least. We really kind of wanted to enjoy Pokemon. I, I just really wanted to enjoy Pokemon in like... The same way I enjoyed Pokemon 20 years ago. When Red and Blue came out, nothing was more interesting than... I think Pokemon before the internet was kind of better in this regard. Like, when Red and Blue came out, discovering all the Pokemon and learning about them was way more fun than preemptively knowing it. It sort of got designed in a way that the starter wasn't a huge deal since you could find it in the grass and the water Pokemon in the first route. Wait, the original Pokemon game? Hmm. I don't know, it was not one of those things- oh no, this one. Yeah, exactly, actually. I like- I, I like how this game's set up. I think this game's probably got a lot of- It reminded me a lot of the classic charm of Pokemon. Plus, this game had a story, which actually turned out to be a really good story, too. In my humble and correct opinion. Which I might add is both humble and correct. And humble. I don't know. I just want to say, like, for anybody else who's ever like having issues with gaming, if you're if you're having issue with your motivation and gaming kind of dwindling, might I make the suggestion of just trying to avoid spoilers for games? Try to avoid reviews. Just go into a game blind and see how you like it. We've been doing that for a lot of games and finding a lot of games that I think we would have overlooked if we had just gone off the reviews alone. And like that detail alone really kind of makes me wonder how much of gaming ends up being just external influence. How many people just end up over not enjoying a game because they already know the story? Or because, like, the entire game has been routed out for them. I think the internet has been kind of one of those things that had that happen. The benefit of the internet is that you can avoid crap. By the time you leave the uh, game, show smaller for grass. Oh, okay, now I see what you're saying. Yeah. That's actually kind of like an interest. This game had a lot of attention to detail. I really feel like Game Freak actually wanted to make a really good game and just didn't put the time into, you know, fixing the glitches. But it's still a fun as fuck game. Oh yeah, Legends Arceus was another game where we did where I did that. Avoided spoilers and uh totally avoided reviews. What you're saying here was a big part of the discussion around the rise of Let's Plays over a de uh, decade ago. Yeah, actually, it is a lot around that. Uh, I get, yeah, exactly. Actually, yeah. And to be honest with you, on that note, that's why I've decided for this stream and for streams going onward, I'm only gonna read parts of the story. I read the part. Uh, I read some parts, but I'm also gonna fuck with the story. I'm gonna make my own story as I'm going on. Because honestly, I want everyone to enjoy these games. I also want people to enjoy my streams. I thought the first time I did this was very boring, actually. Maybe for other people, they liked my narration because I know a lot of people like to listen to me. But yeah, the Skyrim LARP LARPer. So yeah, there's like the Skyrim LARPer. Uh, we're also under both those watches too. 
There's like the Skyrim LARPer who does just that, and I've decided we're gonna do that. Because, you know what? I want people to in come to my streams not to listen to me, um, you know, just play Pokemon and read off Pokemon stuff. I, I want people to enjoy my streams. I want people to have a unique experience where you you get like a bit of a mixture of LARPing in my daily life, in my little live vlog thing.